Hey, just a quick video on adjusting the valve lash on the CG250 motors. Uh, did my Hawk DLX and did it wrong and kind of learned the hard way. Uh, the valves were really, really noisy when I got done. Here's a, something I've done to um, confirm that I've got the correct stroke for the top dead center when making this adjustment. I've adjusted these valves to 0 0.003. And there's just a little bit of drag getting in there. Let's see if I can get my hand out of the way. Yep, yeah, nice, just a little drag. And I can't fit the 0 .004 in there. So I know I've got it somewhere between three and four, which is kind of what you're shooting for. Now I am on top dead center on the flywheel here. See that. Now if I take this and rotate it to the next top dead center, I should find that the valves are really, really tight on that one. So let's see what we got. rotation here. You can see a couple of lines in there. And then an F and a line and then a T and a line. There's your T and line. Now let's go back and check that valve clearance. If I did it wrong, there'll be a huge gap here. And you'll know right away you're on the wrong stroke. If I did it right, there'll be no gap at all because we're on the exhaust stroke right now. Yep, and I can't even, I can't even get the three in there. So now I know that's the exhaust stroke right there. If you can't get a feeler gauge in there, you hit it on the right, correct top dead center. So with these new CG motors, the valves come so tight, it's hard to tell which stroke you're on when you're when you're getting to top dead center. So I made the adjustment and double checked the other top dead center, and that's how I know that the the gauge is correct.